Anyway, Brandon is live, folks. Let's hear what he has to say. Americans. 12 years Look of at universal that. education. Look, this is kind of silly. to. This is a silly metric to focus on, but he, he does one good thing. 20,000 people watching, baby. Let's go. <clears throat> the cost of education beyond high school has gone up significantly. The total cost to attend a public four-year university has tripled, nearly tripled in 40 years. Tripled. Instead of properly funding public colleges, many states have cut back their support. We are just talking about that in the Oval. Many states have cut back support for their, their state universities, leaving students to pick up more of the tab. In 50 years, for 50 years, Pell Grants had been a key way for the federal government to help lower-income families, particularly those earning less than $60,000 a year to send their kids to college. Those Pell Grants used to cover 80 percent, 80 percent of the cost of going to a public four-year college. Today, Pell Grants cover 30 percent, 30, roughly 32 percent. That's one-third of the cost, as opposed to before. It matters. I remember walking up, and now my dad, like probably a lot of your folks, cared a lot about your education. My dad's greatest regret was that he never got to go to college. And my dad was a very well-read man, particularly history, and, uh, um, but it was a great regret. And he always say, Joey, you're going to be a college man. And I'd say, Dad, but how, well, how, what, what does that matter? I mean, you can still get fired if you're a college man. Remember when he uh, stole a, a, a British dude's uh, rhetoric, or British dude's speech? And I remember my senior year. He I plagiarized into, uh, it back in the 90s when he said, I'm the first, into, I'm the first schools. Biden. We're trying to get the money even with financial That's a college graduate. To be able to go there. We had yeah, Neil Kinnick. All of, uh, all of us wanting to he go He stole to a Neil Kinnick uh, and, um, speech. And I remember going down after a baseball game. I went, went to a really good school up in Claymont, Delaware, on the Pennsylvania border. And I uh, drove down to Newark, Delaware, where my dad worked at an automobile agency. And I walked in, and I had my spikes, and because the reason I was going down when your dad works in an automobile agency, the great advantage, you get a new car to go to the prom or a good used car off the lot. You think I'm joking? Yeah, we'll do Lib Watch. And so I went down to my 51 Plymouth uh, with uh, beach towels for seat covers. And uh, I had my uniform on, my spikes off. I ran in, and the woman's name was Mary, who ran the place. I said, Mary, where's dad? She said, he's out in the lane going into the, in the repair shop. I'm going to keep it a buck 50. I don't know if that's like a, a part of sign language. Or she's just genuinely excited that <laughs> Joe Biden has canceled $10,000, maybe $20,000 if she had Pell Grants of her debt. Because she was smiling, dude. He looked up, he said, oh, Joey, honey, I'm so sorry. I'm but so I guess sorry. maybe smiling is like a part of the emoting. cell phones. I thought something happened to one of my brothers or my sister or my mom or something. I said, what's the matter, Dad? He said, I went to see the guy's name was Charlie Delcher, who was a vice president of the Farmers Bank, which was a state-owned bank that did a lot of the financing of people wanting to purchase a car. He said, I went to Charlie and asked to borrow the money. He said, he won't lend it to me. He said, I'm so ashamed. I'm so damn ashamed. You himbo facial expressions no, are vital in sign. I did not know no, that. Uh, my dad was like millions of parents all across the country. Want to help the kids to get to school, but there was just no way to be able to do it. You know. It uh, is also kind of funny when she's like. He believed as I do that. Part of the emoting, bro. You sound like ACC. Life. Yeah. It's something. Jill it's funny when he's like confused, and, and she has to convey deeply, confusion. Sure the vast majority of you do as well. But over time, that ticket has become like too she, expensive for too many Americans. All, she has to be all like, this means is the <laughs> entire, an entire generation is now saddled with unsustainable debt in exchange for an attempt, at least, at a college <laughs> The burden is so heavy that even if you graduate, you may not have Emoting is true, by the way. It's not XQC. I said Chatter's thinking Twitch invented people, the term emoting. Yeah, emoting is a term in the English language. That's what she's doing. Emoting is the proper term I use, by the way. They, uh, you know, they, they, they carry it's too high. <laughs> Silly they juicers. The down payment anyway. A lot of folks are even putting off uh, starting families because of the cost. And the dream of starting or owning your own business is just way off in the distance with the debt that's, uh, that you know, so many are saddled with. 
Many of you had to leave school because the financial strain was much too high. About a third of the borrowers have debt but no degree, and worst of both worlds, debt and no degree. The burden is especially heavy on black and Hispanic borrowers, who on average have less family wealth to pay for it. There's no, they don't own their homes to borrow against to be able to pay for college. And the pandemic only made things worse. But we responded aggressively to the pandemic to minimize the economic impact of the harm of COVID imposed on individuals oh my God. and businesses. You all were there. It was recovery. Look, we increased unemployment benefits for That's workers who laid off. We provided loans to small what businesses the so they could stay afloat and take care of their families and their employees. This is the we Fox News website main page. Put food on the table. Remember those long lines you guys would all film? Of cars, decent looking car, not jalopies, you know, nice cars. Not jalopies. Just waiting for a box of he food said jalopy. To be put in, the trunk in the United States of America, waiting for over an hour to get food in a trunk. And we provided rent and mortgage assistance to keep people from being evicted and thrown out in the street. Our approach to help Americans who need it the most was necessary. And it was the right thing to do. And it helped people avoid financial crisis which helped our whole country as a consequence of that. That didn't benefit them. It benefited the whole economy. Our approach is why America's economic recovery, economic recovery was faster and stronger than any other advanced nation in the world. <clears throat> now it's time to address the burden of student debt in the same way. Working closely with the Secretary of Education, he's got the hard job, you know, Secretary Cardona, Here's what my administration is going to do to provide more breathing room for people so they have less burden by student debt. And quite frankly, to fix the system itself, which when we came in, we both acknowledged was broken in terms of I anyway. love this, dude. There are three key factors what we're going to do today. First, we've made incredible progress advancing America's economic recovery. We've wound down pandemic relief programs like the ones on unemployment insurance and small businesses. It's time we do the same thing for student loans. Student loan payment pause is going to end. It's going to end December 30. I'm extending to December 31st, 2022, and it's going to end. That <laughs> yeah, that's that's it's the best part, by the way. Student loan uh, uh, Sir, debt repayment has been extended to 2022, baby. Let's go. I made a commitment. Post midterms. Post midterms. And I'm honoring that commitment today. Using the authority Congress granted the Department of Education, we will forgive $10,000 in outstanding I thought it was federal student loans. But addition, regardless, regardless, students regardless. Students who come from low-income families. I suspect that they're going to keep fucking, uh, they're going to they're gonna keep, keep kicking the, the can down the road. We $20,000. Both of these targeted actions are for families who need it the most. Working and middle-class people hit especially hard during the pandemic, making under $125,000 a year. You make more than that, you don't qualify. No high-income individual or high-income household on top of the 5%, in the top 5% of incomes, by the way, will benefit from this action period. In fact, about 90% of the, of the, of the eligible beneficiaries make under $75,000 a family. Here's what that means. If you make under $125,000, you get $10,000 knocked off your student debt. If you make under $125,000 a year and you received a Pell Grant, you'll this get just quantitative easement for the residential housing market done by the executive total, branch? For a total of $20,000 relief. 95% of the borrowers can benefit from these actions. That's 40 3 million people. Of the 43 million, over 60 percent are Pell Grant recipients. That's 27 million people who will get $20,000 in debt relief. Nearly 45 percent can have their student debt fully canceled. That's 20 million people who can start getting on with their lives. All this means people can start, finally crawl out from under that mountain of debt to get on top of their rent and their utilities to finally think about yeah. buying a home finally, or starting you can, a family or starting you can pay, a business. You can pay your rent. <laughs> and by the way, oh, thank God. The whole economy 
is better off. In the coming weeks, the Department of Education will pay your rent and utilities <laughs> in detail a short and simple form to apply for this relief, along with information when this application process opens. By resuming student loan payments at the same time as we provide targeted relief, I owe 18K still this is literally life changing for me. I use Pell Grant, so I should get the 20K relief. Congratulations, about Chatter. About $50 billion a year will start coming back into the, the Treasury because of the resumption of debt. Independent experts agree that these actions taken together will provide real benefits for families without meaningful effect on inflation. Let's be clear. I hear it all the time. How do we pay for it? We pay for it by what we've done. Last year, we cut the deficit by more than three hundred and fifty. Why? Why? How do you? Dollars. How do you pay for it? What do you mean? How you pay for it? Economic activity. This is literally juicing the economy. Why do we only juice the economy by directly offering handouts to big businesses, corporations, or the wealthy? Why can't the fucking working class juice the economy sometimes? Because Medicare will be paying less for prescription drugs, and over a trillion dollars we added out for the next two decades. The point is this. There is plenty of deficit reduction to pay for the programs, cumulative deficit reduction to pay for the programs many times over. I will never apologize for helping Americans working, working Americans in middle class. Thankful Especially for this as an owner of 130 properties. This allows my tenants to be more on time with their rent, allowing me to not be so angry and hateful. The wealthiest Americans and yeah, the this way you can, you can, this way you can work on ADHD. This way, you have more time to yourself to work on dealing in your everyday life as a landlord with ADHD. When the federal government forgave almost every single cent of You're acting like this isn't a good thing? No, this is a great thing. What do you mean? Why would I say this is not a good thing? The only thing is I wish it was more. Across America during the pandemic. No one complained. What, what the fuck do you mean? Those loans dude, dude, inflation. dude. This is literally, a these folks this is a, business. one, campaign promise. Two, something that should have been done a long time ago. I am 100% a fan of this, okay? What, do you, what the fuck are you talking about? The only thing I'm not a fan of is, is that it's only 10K. But there are other good provisions in here. Like, uh, 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 as long as you make like 150, as long as you make like a payment of $150, like your interests are stopped entirely. Like there's some really cool shit in this. In the debt repayment side too. That is like tremendous. Here's how. But I'm the most no excited because now today. my fucking college-educated people will have 10000 extra dollars in their pocket so they can buy a $5 a month subscription or a free one in the form of a Twitch Prime and then avoid the ads at the top of the fucking hour. This was less than $12,000, many of whom are community college students, will be done paying... Bry Guy, thank you for the five gifted. These changes will save more than $1,000 a year on average for the borrower. It's a game changer. We're also fixing what's called, and this has been the bane of driving me crazy when I was out of office. Some anxiety, thank you for the five gifted. Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program. Now, this program forgives student loans to Bacotta encourage those 98. students who had those loans. TSP Leviathan, thank you for the 10 gifted. I'm Juna service. Beat Farmer, thank you for the five gifted. Think of the millions who are public school teachers, local police officers, workers at local charities members of the military and the National Guard, and so many more. Think of the folks who work for federal, state, local, tribal governments, keeping essential services going, responding to natural disaster, all those firefighters and cops. The program is designed so that if you serve in one of these jobs... Darby Crispy, thank you for the five gifted as well. Taco Dam, thank you, thank you for the another 20. Assess what do you do ...and make your loan payments for 10 years, even if it's not consecutive years. Your remaining balance will be completely forgiven. It's a great idea, but the program's a mess. It's so inefficient and complicated, too many people just give up. Think of a service member who defers their student loan payment. Oh, you can also deployed. be refunded on any federal the student loan so payments you've made since the March 2020 pause. Service didn't count you can get a refund service. for any payment, including auto debt your payments you made during the payment pause. Contact your loan servicer to request well, your payment be refunded. The Department of Education has recently proposed changes that will make this program work better and over the long term, much better. And now the department issues emergency temporary changes to retroactively credit public service so it counts 
and loans are forgiven. Since I've been in office, more than 175,000 teachers, nurses, police officers have been able to get over $10 billion in loan forgiveness so far through this program. But this opportunity expires on October 31st, 2022. So my message to all servants, all public servants, all those who are the ones that are volunteering, is out with student debt to go. Here's what you want, if, you, if you're worried about how to do it, go to pslf.gov before October 31st to see if you qualify for public service stu student loan forgiveness. This is another game changer. And we're going to have people who are there to help get you, help, help direct you and work you, work you through the process. And one more big change we're making to the system is we're holding colleges accountable for jacking up costs without delivering value to students. We've all heard of those schools luring students with a promise of big paychecks when they graduate only to watch these students be ripped off and left with mountains of debt. And my predecessors looked the other way, for some reason, with good reason, uh, to do anything about this fraud. My administration is taking it on. For example, the Department of Education works with private education associations to accredit, college, to accredit colleges and universities so they can receive federal aid. Well, last week, the Department of Education fired a college accreditor that allowed colleges like ITT and Corinthian to defraud borrowers. And combined with our emergency actions, the Public Service Forgiveness Program and other acts we've taken, we've been able to cancel more than $32 billion in student debt for 1.6 million borrowers, including those defrauded by these bad acting schools. Our goal is to shine a light in the worst actors so students can avoid these tell you, Chad, that there's a lawsuit for predatory lending called Sweet now, versus Cardona, and those student loans are being forgiven if your school is on the list. This is for federal is loans. Make everybody happy. Something is too much. I find it interesting how some of my Republican friends who voted for those tax cuts and others think uh, that we shouldn't be helping these folks. Something is too little. But I believe my plan is responsible and fair. It focuses the benefit on middle class and working families. It helps both current and future borrowers, and will fix a badly broken system. And these actions are built on my administration's effort to make college more affordable in the first place. It includes unprecedented investments, nearly six billion. You sign up for the loan, you should pay for it. Are they going to forgive mortgages next? I mean, Much that'd be sick. But medical debt, I think, would be the place I go to first instead of uh, mortgages. So they could stay in school. Yeah. And I must be honest with you. I'm going to continue to fight for doubling the Pell Grants. I didn't get that done this time. Except, like, this is again. a federal loan? 12 years of universal education is not enough. You know enough. what I mean? Like, they have the power to do continue that. continue to work for universal pre-K. Oh, yeah. For every three- and four-year-old. Can you imagine universal if they did that for medical debt, dude? Oh, my God. This country school. would literally, like, Let me start resembling this. a real country. I ran for office to grow the economy from the bottom up and the middle out. Because when we do that, everybody does better. Everybody does well. DJ three stacks. Thank you for the twenty well. gifted subs. Twenty stacks, up, baby. The class can have reading room. Two stacks. And that's the help number win the economic that Brandon is allowing. If you have a Pell Grant, much of my time and you make less than one hundred and twenty-five k. How do we remain the most competitive nation in the world, with the strongest economy in the world, with the greatest opportunities in the world? That's what today's announcement is about. It's about opportunity. It's about giving people a fair shot. It's about the one word America can be defined by, possibilities. It's all about providing possibilities. Motherfuckers act like conservatives worse. don't take out student loans, by the way. So, you know, For remember that. How this is being implemented. And I want to thank you this all. This is literally, what we're all. talking thank about you. is millions right. of Americans, hey, okay? He just won. He just won directly millions of Americans, okay? Straight up, with one fucking signature. Millions of Americans are like, I just literally, you just saved my life. This is life changing. This is life changing debt relief. Okay? What about people who paid their loans, though, struggled to pay their
How much of your audience do you think is conservatives hate watching? Not that big. Um, conservative students just go to work for their daddy's firm, making more than 125K. This doesn't apply to those turds. No, man, that's not true. He could have said also the highest percentage of Americans, 55% approve of the 10K in forgiveness as opposed to more forgiveness, even though I don't personally think it goes far enough in terms of forgiveness. Why does no president point out I'm doing the largest quantifiable will of the people here in moments like this to further drive it home? Um, because it's, it's, it's not good policy and it's not good politics because means testing means that there's going to be a lot of gaps. Ironically, when we talk about means testing, if you want a means test, I'm always a fan of means testing after the fact, give the tax credits universally, and then take it back at the end of the, at the end of the road. Okay. Like means test on the back end through the tax system, because universal programs actually are, are, uh, are good for having no resentment whatsoever, right? They're, they're better so that people do not have any kind of resentment, but they're like, oh man, I barely fucking made the cutoff or whatever. And, and, um, and I feel uh, like a sense of, of anger because of that, right? Um, I don't make anywhere near 125K, but I think it's a big mistake to do a hard limit here. If you make 125 on one, you fall off a cliff and get nothing from this versus someone who makes 124,000, uh, 999 regressive incentive. Sure. But, but it's the Democrats. They have to. Not to mention means testing costs more than what you save and it just slows down the ability for social safety nets to work. Exactly. So I'm not an advocate for means testing. I do personally believe that if you want a means test, though, you can do it on the back end. Like once, uh, once the means testing is over, once the means testing is done, Biden says there's plenty of deficit reduction to pay for the program. I never, I will never apologize for helping working Americans, especially not to the same folks who voted for a $2 trillion tax cut that mainly benefited the wealthiest Americans. This, this policy is good. Good. Not bad. <clears throat> good policy. The only criticisms that I would have over this policy is that it's not perfect or that it's not going far enough. But even then, this is a good start, okay? And the many layers of the debt relief, the many layers of this debt relief isn't just like, oh, dude, boom, 20K if you took Pell Grants are gone, yeeted, that you don't have to pay for, okay? Um, that's, that's great on its own, but there is more to it than just that, okay? But the secondary consequence of this is the same feeling that Americans have for a brief moment, okay? And this, I believe, maybe I'm being a little too excited. Maybe I'm being a little too, uh, uh, I don't know, optimistic about this. But the number one thing that things like this, uh, uh, initiatives like this provide people is a sense of hope that the government can, in times of need, help you out. We saw this. We saw the impact of this during COVID when, uh, when the, uh, the STEMI checks started coming in. It was for the first time ever, for the first time ever, the government actually did something and, and eradicated extreme poverty in America. If you remember, if you recall, the first month of the pandemic, the first month of the pandemic at the, at the peak of it, right? We literally did not have extreme poverty in America. It just wiped it out straight up. Those were Trump checks. And I think that that does uh, something that uh, the past century of American politics never uh, does. And that is instill a sense of hope and, and a sense of, of, yeah, mostly instill a sense of hope that the government can sometimes actually do something for you. Okay? That's a good thing. Because every single fucking initiative leading up to this from Democrats and Republicans both have literally done the exact opposite, which is the government's never there to help. I'm from the government and I'm here to help is the worst thing you can ever hear. That mentality has played into starving the beast. That mentality has played into further tax uh, cuts, uh, further tax breaks. Oftentimes, of course, the lion's share of that goes to the, the uh, higher uh, tax brackets. Okay. Ben Shapiro partnered with someone that received PPP. Cinestate is the former company, and now it's called Bonfire Legends, which is partnering with the Daily Wire to make their movies. Yeah. 
The government did slightly more than the minimum for the first time in my life, and tons of people I know have massively improved their material circumstances in a lasting way as a result. I am now liberal. Sorry, I must leave the community now. But in all honesty, I'm now motivated to vote in November here in Texas. Like, this is how you get people out to vote. This is a good thing. Uh, this, no matter which way uh, Republicans and even a lot of Democrats who have a financial interest in stopping this from happening because, like, they have a vested interest in propagandizing for, like, debt refinancing companies and, and the like that have a vested interest in ensuring their success because this hurts those companies. Um, those people are going to fucking shit on this nonstop. Hopefully, the Biden White House will be able to propagand to effectively counter uh, this, this initiative, okay? Regarding that chatter, the 125K chatter is based on your 2020 and 2021 taxes. If you made less than 125K in either year, you qualify. And there are Democrats that are going to come out against this, by the way. So make no mistake. Don't, don't be some pushback among Dems and tough raises the Biden student loan move. Chris Pappas, frontline House Democrat from New Hampshire. Any plan to address student debt should go through the legislative process. And it doesn't. And it should be more targeted and paid for so it doesn't add to the deficit. Like, I want to, sh if, if anyone brings up deficit spending, if anyone, especially a Democrat, brings up PAYGO or deficit spending or how this is going to fucking hurt the deficit, I want to put you in a trebuchet and launch you into the fucking sun. Okay? Shut the fuck up. Stop offering counter propaganda. That is not even true. Okay? This is already targeted. They're just literally saying that so that they can, so that they can like win over this non-existing fucking person. This non-existing voter. Message adequately. Whip the fucking party. Okay? Nancy Pelosi. Come back from your Italian vacation with a real fucking whip and start slamming these motherfuckers. Don't let a single fucking leak within the Democratic Party come out against this. This is so stupid. It's so fucking stupid. What, how do you allow this? Beat the shit out of this person. No committees for you if you talk like this. They do this all the fucking time to the left. Whip the motherfucking moderates for once. Holy shit. We're now going to go through, explain how it is not true. It's not true because no one gives a shit about deficit spending when it comes to the fucking military. They only talk about deficit spending, when, not even when it's a tax cut for the wealthy. People only care about deficit spending when it, or, or deficits when it is an initiative that helps the large majority of working class Americans. At a certain point, you need to fucking comprehend this, okay? Today is like 9-11 for people with Harvard in their bio. Yo, literally, literally. I've never seen so many fucking Harvard in the bio asses uh, that are liberal, by the way, or uh, are, you know, Lincoln Project ass liberals freaking the fuck out over this. It's not a bad thing. This is a good thing, okay? Shut the fuck up. The only negative thing on this is that it doesn't go far enough. Here's Bernie Sanders' take on it from Burlington, Vermont. The president's decision today to reduce the outrageous level of student debt in our country is a step, is an important step forward in providing real financial help to a struggling middle class. Today's announcement to reduce up to 10,000 in student debt <coughs> for working class Americans and up to 20,000 for Pell Grant recipients will eliminate student debt for some 20 million Americans and reduce debt for some 43 million. That's insane, bro. Think about that. 20 million Americans, 43 million Americans are going to have their debt reduced. 43 million Americans. Think about how much. That's so many fucking voters, dude. This is what you're supposed to do. This is what you're supposed to do. What are you supposed to do? This is what you're supposed to do. This is what you're doing. This is, this is legislation. This is, well, technically it's not legislation, but like this is what an adequate government is supposed to do. The result of this decision is that millions of Americans will now be in a better position to start families or buy the homes or cars they have long needed. This is a big deal. This also helps the economy, okay? Can you rate this act on a 1 to 10? I want to get the decimal number to process your feelings. I'm at like a, like a 7 right now. But we have got to do more. At a time of massive income and wealth inequality, education from preschool through graduate school must be a fundamental right for all and not a privilege for the wealthy few. 
if the United States is going to effectively compete in the global economy, we need the best educated workforce in the world. True. And that means making public colleges and universities tuition-free as many other major countries currently do. True. Spitting. And that includes trade schools and minority-serving institutions as well. Spitting. In the year 2022, the wealthiest country on earth, everyone in America who wants a higher education should be able to get that education without going into debt. No, fundamental is what Bernie says. It's Bernie's worst. No, guys, I'm a Bernie stan. Don't test me on this. Listen to Bernie Sanders ever say fundamental. He doesn't say it like that. He says it's like an oi, bro. If I'm reading this correctly, Biden's student debt program is far better than I anticipated. The new rules on income-based repayment mean that you will no longer see your loan balance increase while you are making payments. That is what I was talking about. This part of it is insane. You cover the borrower's unpaid monthly interest so that unlike other existing income-driven repayment plans, no borrower's loan balance will grow as long as they make their monthly payments, which are capped too. As long as you're below a, a certain uh, income level, even when that monthly payment is zero because their income is low. This is legislation literally already within the broad authority of the Secretary of Education to forgive debts. We need to stop feeding fascist fucks. Yeah, that's the main part. That is the huge W here. That's what I was referencing earlier. That's a gigantic help, dude. This country has never advanced without major, at least Keynesian, uh, 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 economic moves, okay? This country is, the reason why there is even such a concept of homeownership in this country is the fucking GI Bill. The reason why people were educated was the GI Bill. The reason why this country became a productive uh, labor force is a consequence of uh, payment plans offered by the government is a consequence of uh, favorable loans offered by the government. It's fucking psychotic. This is what America is, has always been about. Well, people on the con side and Harvard side saying Biden is buying votes for 20K. Okay, thanks. Minus 20K plus one vote works for me. Exactly. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what, that's what being, dude, that's what being a legislator is. That's what being a leader is. You buy votes. That's what you're supposed to do. What the fuck? We are so fucking brain broken in America that we literally think when politicians do something good, that's somehow a bad thing. These motherfuckers buy votes for the corporations of the wealthy every goddamn day. I've talked about this before. Uh, I, the old Mitt Romney tweet that I responded to, if you guys remember, maybe some of you can, maybe one of you can pull it up. A couple months back, Mitt Romney was like, what's next? Are we going to fucking uh, eliminate medical debt too? And I was like, yeah, yeah, that would be great. Exactly. Framing Lamau. Biden announces... <laughs> Biden announces a $300 billion loan handout. President Biden speaks on student loan debt plan. Yeah. Handout. It's a handout. It's a handout. When it's a corporation, it's not a handout. That's why these motherfuckers, when they act like they're, they're uh, of the Austrian uh, school, right? When they believe in like uh, Austrian economics, it's a lie. It's a fucking lie. They love num 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 num. They love suckling on the government titty. Okay, they love that shit. They just don't want normal people to be able to get a fucking crumb, because the normal crumbs that a normal average Joe could get is a crumb that the fucking billionaires couldn't get from the government. That's fucking bullshit. Oh, yeah, it was this. It was, this. I mean, it was, Mitt Romney had a vote. Mitt Romney had a take like this before that I responded to. I can't remember if I can find it. But I said pretty much this exact same thing that Ken is saying right now. If Biden would clear all debt, us libtars would suck off the boys in blue, something that he should keep in mind. Dude, I will suck off all the hero cops. Biden is literally telling every college in America to raise tuition by $10,000. This is my favorite fucking right wing take. Which, of course, again, you can apply this attitude to every part of your lives. But Tom Cotton will never do that about landlords. You understand? It's like, oh, dude. what? These are not institutions that are completely removed from some level of control. You can't just, if they do that, we should punish them. They're already doing it. They're already fucking doing it. Is this it? Yeah, mask off moment from our elites as they show their disdain for the working class. Popular policies to win voters isn't bribery. It's your job. You do it for big corporations of the wealthy every single day. But the moment is for the working poor. They can't comprehend it. Look, 
Desperate polls call for desperate measures. Dems consider forgiving trillions in student loans. Other bribe suggestions? Forgive auto loans, forgive credit card debt, forgive mortgages, and put a wealth tax on the super rich to pay for it all. What could possibly go wrong? I liked my own tweet. That was stupid, but whatever. Remember, it's only a moral hazard if we're doing debt relief for the working poor. It's never a moral hazard if a taxpayer-funded bailout package is built for the built into the risk mitigation of a mega corporation currently engaging in stock buybacks. Damn, bro, this fucking pass this on was based. Based. So true. One more thing though. What about people like my wife and I who live well below our means after college to pay off our loans? Okay. I mean, I'm glad that you were able to pay off your loans, my friend. You know what I mean? I lived well below my fucking means after college to be able to pay off my loans too. It doesn't work like that. You understand how fucking shitty that was. You struggled through it and you survived. What do you mean? Who, what are you going to do? Kick people, uh, kick the ladder back? Like, what, what the fuck is that about? And if you paid during the pause since March 2020, you can literally get a refund. So at least you have that. I had polio. Why should other people be able to get the polio vaccine? Exactly. Can I have my car loan forgiven? Takes implying that cars and education play the same role in society. And yes, mortgages and medical debt should be forgiven too. These are critical pillars of society. Anyway, the first 31,200 doesn't apply to income based repayment. If you make 50 grand a year, you're paying 5% towards a loan on $18,800 of income. So instead of paying $2,500 a year, you'll pay 940. So if you're someone who meets the 125k income threshold for forgiveness but are lamenting that you recently paid off your loans, ask for 10k or as much as you've paid since the pandemic began back and voila, voila. Obviously relevant today, but also if you're fortunate enough to have had transitioned during a pandemic job that offers education assistance, get that money back and have your employer pay it off. I had my rib cage cut open and heart removed for surgery in 1994. By this logic, I should be mad about stereoscopic surgery options for the same procedure today, but I'm not, of course. Yeah, that would be fucking insane. It's literally what conservatives are thinking, Lamau. This is coming from someone who has six figures of student loan debt, both federal and private. And this is a controversial opinion, so be ready. I do not think that the president should forgive any student loan debt. Because like a lot of people have been saying, it wouldn't be fair to the people who hustled and sacrificed and worked hard to pay off their student loan debt. They're not going to get that time or that money back. It kind of reminds me of how during slavery in America, when the slaves that had hustled and worked to escape their plantations and get to a free state, when they heard that the... Wait, you, she's joking. This is satire. No shot. This is satire. They're trolling. They're trolling. They're trolling president was going to sign the emancipation proclamation they were like um this isn't fair to me do i get all the years back that i was enslaved no i don't don't sign that don't do it and also just personal also she's joking guys she's joking calm the fuck down she's as soon as she said slavery i was like oh okay she's joking that's literally she's joking holy fuck left his chat calm down only while we're at it i don't think that we should be making advances in medicine either because it's really not fair to the people who have already died this is coming from someone who i didn't think she was joking at first either because the, there are fucking psychotic takes like that okay using slavery for political jokes is kind of weird though yes cancel this black woman for making a joke. Wait, where are these people coming from? Calm down, bro. That's not a problematic joke at all. That's a great joke. Shut the fuck up. Here's Moscow Mitch's take on Biden's attack on capitalism. Another student dead TikTok. Hmm. Funny. Yes. But not funny. Ha ha. Funny weird. Dude, we also pause repayment of loans until after the midterm. Shaking my head. Evil Brandon is alive. Not so well. I mean, yeah, the 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 repayment pause after the midterms is a good fucking idea. Like, it's it's just uh, politically expedient. He's probably going to. Uh, I mean, it sucks. I wish they would do more. I still believe they potentially could kick it down the road again. Why do so many leftists lack a sense of humor? 
if this keeps up, I'm going to have to start watching louder with chowder. Yeah, well, I think, you know what this is? I'll just explain it to you this way. It's not a Democrats, Republicans thing, okay? I think it's more a politics thing. If you're a politics understander, your brain becomes so fucking fundamentally broken by understanding politics or thinking you understand politics that like the same part of your brain that would actually uh, offer, I don't know, the humor bone or whatever uh, to, to look at quips and goofs and gaffes and laugh at it becomes incredibly serious. And that's precisely the reason why like Republicans can only do pol uh, humor by being like insanely racist because they have no humor bone. And leftists can only do humor by writing fucking theory because they have no humor bone. No, that sounds dumb. No, okay, well. Biden also called out the PPP loan forgiveness hypocrites after a question from Ducey. Yeah, he did. That was the last thing he said. He was like, yeah, corporations got like, what, $400 billion. Shut the fuck up. Is it fair to people who, in fact, uh, do not own multi-billion dollar businesses to see why these guys get them all tax breaks? Is that fair? What do you think? What about people who pay their loans, so struggle to pay their loans, and now others don't have to? It's psyops by the conservative. Their takes are so wi wild. The left doesn't know what's a take and what's not anymore. Love your point. Thanks. Honestly, what about working on teaching financial literacy so people don't take this credit off their debt and grow their credit card debt in the future instead? I know so many college students who pull out so much on their loans above tuition costs just to go out and live an Instagram lavish style. Yeah, no, you're right, man. I think we should punish 45 million Americans because you found uh, a, a guy. That's how I would write policy. 45 million Americans that are suffering, saddled by uh, student loan debt for no fucking reason when college education should be free, especially because it makes a more productive labor force. Uh, and then one guy that I made up in my mind. No, you're right. And that guy, of course, would magically solve, uh, magically solve his problems, the made up guy, by having a financial literacy class. I guess he just didn't pay attention to financial literacy. That's why he did that. No, you're right. That's cool. No, thank you. Thank you for that take. Um, luckily, we don't fucking cut policy. Biden is telling every college in America to raise tuition by uh, $1,000. Both of my best friends are going to the Marines for debt. Pretty bad timing. <laughs> yep. Oops. Well, they, maybe they can get out. Remember when you yielded a chatter for exactly the same take? If you suffer for the repayment of other shit too, right? People are just selfish. Yeah, that's just selfishness masked as like some kind of uh, moral purpose. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like it, it you're you're literally you're you're describing being selfish and describing envy, but you're trying to moralize it by being like, "Well, what about the uh what about the integrity of all the people who paid off their debt?" Okay. Well, I did too. Suck me, okay? And I am not an asshole. So, son, you make a lot of money. Yeah, I do. I paid them off when I didn't, though. You know, I don't even don't even entertain the whole Instagram student rhetoric. OK, it's just bullshit. It's made up. <sighs> um, sorry if the really stupid question, does this student loan thing have to pass Congress? No, it's not. That's the beautiful part about it. These are federal. These are federal loans. Therefore, the president could actually literally with the pen signature, with the signature of a pen, actually forgive all of them if he wanted to. $1.6 trillion worth, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that cool? He could do that. The same exact principle applies to 10000 as it does to every single penny. Straight up. Does the debt relief mean anything about relief for students that are going to college or is it just all the, those that graduated already? Wait, um, no, I think if you have debt right now, this helps uh, pay it. That chatter was just playing devil's advocate. I hate debate bros. Why are you advocating for the devil? Yeah, I mean, it's just not a good, not 
he wasn't even doing a good job advocating for the devil then. The honest truth is, if you were poor, I got Pell Grants and loans, and this pays off all my debt. This will help millions. Why are you complaining? This whole conversation is so detached from reality. Yeah, I mean, it is. It is straight up detached from reality. It's any loans as of July 1st, 2022. So I was about like 2500 in, which is not a good loan. It was paid off. Yeah. Um, yeah, the pushback from the Dems is bullshit. Fuck those people. They can suck me. They can fuck and suck me, okay? Uh, Betsy DeVos came out swinging for this. All of the worst demons are going to come out against this, by the way, which should reinforce uh, the happiness that you feel about uh, in this very moment that the government has actually finally done one fucking thing right. Okay? It's a small step in the right direction, but it's still a good step. Three key things that are true. This is 100% illegal. Pfft, no, it's not. You were literally the Secretary of State. Shut the fuck up, you dumb motherfucker. This is unfair to everyone who paid their loan or never took one out. This doesn't fix anything. College tuition will keep rising and students will keep taking on debt. Yeah, it's really unfair that we're funding the fire department for all of those people who haven't had fires in their houses, right? It's so fucked up. She said it's illegal. Yeah, it, one thing that should reinforce, if you don't know anything about this, if you don't know anything about this plan, if you don't know anything about this fucking plan, the one thing you should make the one thing that should make you feel confident about it is that Betsy DeVos and every dumb liberal motherfucker and every dumb conservative motherfucker is against it. Perfect. That's great. Anyone that tells you that this is a step in anyone that doesn't tell you that this is a step in the right direction is lying to you. Okay? It's not the best. It's not the best solution. And there is so much more we have to do. But anyone that gets mad at this is fucking ridiculous. Unless they're upset that it's not more. Because there was a promise that it was going to be much more. Okay? When the government does something I dislike, it's socialism and it's illegal. Um, also, conservatives coming out, coming out of the gate swinging with the one joke that they have. One joke, Andy. One joke, Andy. Happy legal guardian of unspecified gender day. You guys have one joke you tell over and over again. We have as many jokes as you have our word of genders. This is the same joke again. <laughs> literally. I literally just finished paying off my student loans in May. Forgive them all. My friend, I have something wonderful to tell you. You could ask for a fucking refund. If you just paid off your loans, that means you probably paid off your loans in the past, in, in the moratorium period. Therefore, you can ask the government for a refund on those payments. There you go. Isn't that great? Read the rest of what they said. No, I know. Does this cover parent plus loans? I'm worried my wife won't get money for her loans since they're all in her mom's name. Uh, I don't know. Okay. But we're going to go through the federal student aid, studentaid.gov slash debt relief announcement. This is the plan that is going to explain it. I know that that chatter was uh, uh, agreeing with me, by the way. Um, just because I paid mine off doesn't mean we, should help, we shouldn't help others. It's so ridiculous. I know that chatter was agreeing with me. I make over 125K. Okay, big flex, big flex. You make over 125K a year, and here you are not gifting people, okay? That's fucked up. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. 